Alright. What's up, it's your girl Tiffany M. Draper. And before we get started, for all the people that have been wanting to donate to me, but I don't have PayPal for the last couple of days, all of the people that want to send money have been sending it to my sister's PayPal, and my sister Melanie has been sending it to me on Cash App. So if that's something that you want to do, then let me know in the comment section and I will comment my sister's email and let's get it popping. Now, finally, we get to take a break from Mello and find out what's been going on with Kat. First of all, she looked real sad right here. Like they didn't cancel her food stamps because she won't go and be actively looking for employment. But, uh, uh yeah, let's get it. So, the whole time, She's been doing messed up things. And I'm going to try not to interrupt as much, but y'all know I have to do that so I won't get a copyright. Uh, can we start off by saying I love caramels. Like, they have the best complexion to me. So, shout out to this, this the caramel complexion. Alright. Why does Kat look like she don't want to be there? I literally am calm with her and I tell her Kat. You cannot do that, please. And I'm gonna tell you the wrong things that you that you seem to. You sit here. I let you get away with it so many times, but you sit here and lie on me. So now it's time. I sit here and let you. You take a shower. You take a bath every day. You never clean out the tub. You let it sit there for for overnight or over two days, and it be dark rings around the tub. I. <laughs> And I buy you depends. What do you do? You you sit there. You don't want to wear them, and you sit there and you pee my bed. But did I tell? Did I tell Facebook about that before? No. I it's bad enough that women we have to buy pads every month, but to have to buy diapers too, and you ain't got no babies. Mm. I did not. I did not put you on the spot. But since you want to lie on me, now I'm going to put you on the spot because you're not going to make me look bad. Anybody could have just called the police about what you just said just now. Every time you pee the bed, what do I do? Let me just say this. I'm not buying nobody I'm with diapers if we not in our 70s or 80s. It just ain't going to happen. Tell them what do I do. Am I not humble with you and I say it's okay and it's going to be okay? Just don't worry about it, cat. Don't worry about it. It's going to be okay. Am I correct? It's not going to be okay. Ain't nobody got time to be buying sleep numbers and sort of mattresses every other month because you want a mother freaking leak like mother freaking Mellow's electricity. Stupid idiot going to say her electricity had a leak. Houseway. Or am I lying? Am I correct or am I lying? This when you know somebody telling the truth if they call somebody out when the person they calling out is super quiet. Well, we'll find out that answer in a minute. Everything I do, I've been humble with her. I bring her food to the bed. I do everything. I make sure she's in a clean environment. I do all of this stuff. I've never had to put... Wait a minute. Hold on. <laughs> you say she peeing in the bed. She messing up the bed already. Why are you bringing her food to the bed so she can leave crumbs? For the dog to lick up when the dog ain't licking her, according to you. I stuff on Facebook like this. But um, you just made me look real bad, so I'm going to clear all the air up. You see how she getting them eye boogers out her eyelash, Mellow? Take notes, please. Before somebody take it to somebody else's page and say, this is something I didn't do. You sat here and told them people on the phone that, oh, first you said... Oh, um, I hurt you and I mistreat you or whatever like that, blah, 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 blah. And then you goes back and lie when somebody asks, oh, the slick mistreat you. Guess what you said? No, she don't mistreat me. How am I mistreating you? Just now, not too long ago, you peed my bed. And what you do after you peed my bed? You immediately got up, went to the bathroom, took off your pants and went on social media. But I'm the wrong one. I First of all, y'all ain't got nowhere else y'all can be sitting because you keep pointing back like that's the bed y'all on. Y'all just sitting and sitting in piss. Yelled at you about that because this is almost the fourth, fifth time you know I peed my bed. I could have yelled at you. 
You went right to social media instead of taking a bath. And I'm not told you this 5,000 times, but you have the nerve to get on live and talk about me like I'm doing something, like I'm literally doing something to you. You don't got no scratch marks on your face. Nobody does nothing to you. Nobody does nothing at all. I've tried to calm you when you say your fans doing this and your fans doing that and you get mad and you start crying. Whose shoulder do you lean? You, you, ain't, you might be leaning on her shoulder because it looked like it got a little dent. Or something right here. If I can see your bones, you're not eating enough. You might want to start eating them bones from the dog that be eating you out. Okay. Whose shoulder do you lean on? No, I, I want to hear who, because I don't think there's nobody in here but me. You. Now, when you when, when, when you. <laughs> Oh, she didn't want to admit that. You get mad and depressed and upset. Who do you lean on? And you sit here, you sit here, and you literally lie on me. You know I'm going through all this backlash on social media. And you will sit there and you will lie on me. Now, who called you today and told you to lie on me? Nobody. No, somebody had to call you. Nobody. No, somebody had to no. call you and tell you to lie on tell me. Tell me, So me. why would you sit here and lie on me? Just like when you know, when you know that stuff was peed up and you put them pillows right back on this bed and what I do? <laughs> put them on the floor. And guess what you did? You sit there and lay in the pillows. Why would you want to lay in pillows that's soggy up? I put them on the floor because they belong there. It's time for them to get washed tomorrow. I would never make you lay on the floor. And you went on live and you did that just to make me look bad. Now, let me show you. Uh-oh. This is what she did. This is what she did. So she won't allow me on... Y'all got some nice, clean carpet, though. From the looks of it, it may be cleaner than the bed. Facebook, I'm going to do the same thing to you, but I'm not going to lie about it. This is what she did. Why would you want to lay on the floor knowing it's a big-ass bed where I fixed the piss problem, I fixed the <laughs> problem, made up the bed, look nice. Like I said, why would I make you lay on the... You can't fix the piss problem. She is the piss problem. The only way you're going to not have piss is to get rid of her. Tell her to piss off. <laughs> I'm a mess. Lord, she did that to make me look bad. You don't do that to nobody. You don't sit here and you lie on nobody. And I'm not going to have nobody thinking I'm doing anything wrong to you. At the end of the day, I've never done nothing to you. I've always I mean, you're doing something wrong right now, sexy caramel. Even though I don't like studs, I just like caramel. Uh, it's 4,300 people watching y'all and you calling out the person you with. That's wrong, bruh. But I understand at the same time because she's trying to clear her name. It's been nice to you. We always have fun, always do something good. What made you, what made you in your mind to do that on the phone like that and you thought I was asleep and then you tried to reverse your life she probably thought that you had drowned in all that bed piss and she thought that she could get away with it you tried to reverse it to make me look bad the whole three years you've been knowing me you ain't never acting like this before I've never had these problems out of you I like them braids though see Melo you could still be freaking ugly and keep your hair right. I mean, hey. Now I'm sitting here and people going to be calling my phone talking about what the fuck you do to cat? What the fuck you do to cat? And then you cried to me earlier about going home and you know your mom and them threatened me to call the police for no reason. Child. And then you talk about something and then you start slamming doors like it was my fault. Your mom and them want you to come home. That was not my fault. I don't care if you're crying to look innocent, and I don't care who says anything, because that crying is, it, oh, is not, crying. no, because at the end of the day, what Okay, you I'm starting to believe the whole pee in the bed thing, because y'all remember the video I did with her mom, talking about she peeing in the bed, stuff like that, like, everybody ain't lying, like, if it piss like a cat, walk like a cat, and stink like a cat, it's a pissy cat, you feel me? Then you was wrong. So I don't care how innocent you're trying to look. And I don't care what nobody says on this live. I'm not even going to read none of the comments because I don't care. 
But at the end of the day, you will stand Ooh, up. Ooh, I care. I'm finna read them. For that. And I don't care if you give me an apology or not, but you was wrong. And I don't care what nobody says bad to me on this phone, but you were dead wrong. And I've done nothing but show you better than what somebody else could. Everybody else complained about your hair. Someone said she had the swing bra on for three days. I don't complain. Fix it. If you complain about the girl, fix it. When people call you names, I don't even let them. And you sitting up here, you wait till I go to sleep to sit up there on live and talk about me and lie on me. Now you fix it. I'm finna go. You fix that. You fix what you told social media. You fix what you told so so meaty. Mm, let me read these comments. I don't want to be in a relationship being talked to like a child. Baby, you need to use that money from the slick hotline and get some. Dang, couldn't read it. You had to go live. Y'all could have did this private. Says the person that's watching. Sorry about your messed up situation at home. But Catrice, what you just did tonight showed me that I don't need to be nowhere around you. Bruh, her name is Catricia. I've been calling her Catricia this whole motherfucking time. So you gotta go home tomorrow. We, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make sure your ticket is reversed for tomorrow and not next week. I'm sorry. I know you want to stay here and I know you love it here, but your mind is being somebody is calling your phone and telling you to do this. And I cannot have that around me. Bruh, all these laughing emojis, it's like a motherfucking. Martin Lawrence, my freaking Netflix special. That's not fair to me. That's not. It's really not fair to me. So you gotta go home tomorrow, and you gonna stay on live until you get home. So they gonna watch you sleep tonight too. I just hope you know. Oh my God, they gonna watch you sleep. We gonna catch that piss live, <laughs> and then live in cool. You ain't gonna lie on me and said I did nothing before you leave. No. If you have to challenge yourself to stay in a problematic, toxic relationship, you you probably shouldn't be doing it. This is just a thought. Mm-mm-mm. And why this person? <laughs> hey, Brigham, use her for her clout. Now you want to be done. Because you know now. <sighs> when will this generation get over the word clout? Calling somebody out is not trying to get clout. Defending yourself when people lying on you is not trying to get clout. Black people learn a word and will overuse it like some perm and some grease. For real, for real this is a honest lady disabled. What you mean talk to her in private? If she act up in public, you better treat her like a black mama. I'm going to get you in public. Freak out of here. What's the difference between private and public if she's going to say the same thing? Might as well have a witness. Or 5,700 witnesses. <laughs> she get more live views than some of these thoughts and twerkers on demon time at night. God, dog, that should let you know right now that ugly people are more relatable. Then find strippers. Her views up now. She don't need cat. Y'all gonna look away. Y'all gonna look anyways by cat. Slick put her on blast. Showing the pins in the live cat. You're not her D child. Cat. Cat get more views not saying nothing than Melo does saying nothing literally when she's saying something. See, Melo, if you went through this, you could probably get some donations. Show us you and Ramey arguing. you get some donations. Show us. You got to be live, though. Don't put nothing old up. You got to be live. And Ramey got to be putting you out and spraying you down with some motherfucking Febreze. Making you bathe in a tub of fabuloso 
and 409 and fantastic. Girl, you'll probably get $10,000. Oh, she left. She's still going to have more views looking at the wall than looking at Mellow. Girl, I love that color scheme. It messed with the piss on the bed. Ah, I'm a mess. <sighs> I don't find her crying being funny. Roll one eye to the left and one eye to the right if you need help, cat. She do that anyway, though, because she caca. What you talking about? Y'all can't blame cat. That's how she used to be. What's the hotline number so we can call and tell cat to end the line? Ah, man. Y'all tell me y'all favorite complexion. What complexion gives you an erection? I don't have a penis. But do you like the caramels, the browns, the dark skins, the blue blacks? Or do you like them with black on their neck like mellow? Like, tell me what you like, man. How y'all know she been pissing what Kat was saying about her? She love Kat and Kat love her. Y'all need to let them people be. Her face looks like she was hitting it on the side. Uh-oh, domestic violence. Cat better not ask us for no effing money. I remember everything she said to us. Uh-oh. <sighs> How's she making her sleep on the floor and hitting her and all that? People don't listen. Anyway, it's great from Dre, but I guess we're just going to look at uh the caramel studs, booty. What kind of drawers she got on? I can't tell. Hold on. I'm going to see if they need donations by the type of drawers they wear. If they wear in Coogee drawers and something expensive and you can't even see it, don't donate to them. If I buy you some, some expensive drawers, you better be showing them off. If you a guy, you better be sagging. I don't like sagging. But if I'm going to spend $300 on some drawers, people better be able to see that Versace. I don't even know if Versace make drawers, but y'all know what I'm saying. Is that a light bulb tattoo on her booty? Or is it a noose? I can't tell what that is. Oh, that a microphone she wrapped to? She better wrap them sheets up with some plastic. She can slide around in that piss and not ruin her mattress. Child, why y'all ain't tell me about this, bro? Y'all gonna have to start telling me what's going on with Kat. And what's going on with Andrew. Because I care more about them than Mello. What is she? I guess they saving money on their electricity bill. I don't even know what's going on. What in the TXU electric is going on? Are they lighting candles? Uh, it's your girl Tiffany and Draper. Y'all, we got to talk about this in the comment section. You dig?